Hey traders, if you're trading strategies without a system, you're probably losing money you don't need to lose. Those are self-inflicted wounds. I'm covering the six pillars every trading system should have to provide better consistencies and profits regardless of what strategy used. Take a look up in that corner. There'll be a drop down that talks about the autopilot trading service. It's a really also a great way to become more consistent because it is built on a, a fantastic proven system. Uh, the other thing is, hey, this market took off like a rocket ship this week. We've got several good stocks that we want to take a look at. So let's get into today's session right now. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. This is Dennis, the Active Trend Trader. I want to welcome you all to today's session of the Trade Your Way to Wealth and Financial Freedom in less than two hours per week. Uh, we have a Neil Parikh who's joining us from the Delaware um, um, IBD Meetup Group, uh, excellent trader. We have Steve Ferrara from uh, uh, here in Honolulu joining us. And uh, gentlemen, how are you today? I'm doing great. great. Good so, uh, so the market has done turned around. We are in in a confirmed uptrend, and you're 100 percent invested, right? Not right, but uh, this confirmed uptrend is looking different than the previous one. That it is. By that I mean, there my re MACD has crossed on QQQ, SPY, DIA, waiting for the eight and twenty to cross. But cool. Very is that on? Is that on the daily? Uh, yes. Or on yeah, the it's on, a, on the daily. On the daily, MACD has crossed. Okay. All right. So this you heard could my be resounding response, didn't you, uh, Dennis? What say? Did you hear my resounding response? No. What was it? No. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> Got that. So. <laughs> Okay, hey, just a reminder of all the materials we do present are for training purposes. Traders should always paper trade in any method, probably at the risk of their own personal capital. What we'll do today, we will really quickly run into, uh, basically take a real quick look at the indexes, uh, and then we'll flow directly into the stock picks. And then also uh, today, we're gonna, I'm going to go through the six pillars very quickly of what makes up a solid trading either investment plan and or trading system. You're going to want to need, you want to uh, know this, take notes, uh, compare what you're currently trading to make sure that you're keep getting all the checks in the block. And uh, we had some really nice upticks this week uh, in the markets. We were following up right up the 40% line uh, and we bounced back up slightly above it. We are paralleling that up to the upside. If you are joining us over on the YouTube channel, I want to remind you, I am watching for comments. And so if you have any comments, just lay them in over there. And also, please identify yourself if you are joining. Uh, we're glad you're there to join us. Here's where we were last week. As you can see, we were beating the markets by about 34%. Uh, That's above the S&P. But look what's happened now. We're still beating the market. However, a couple of things have turned around for us in the market. One, the Russell. Okay, well, I hope that's good. I don't know if you heard that uh, uh, trumpet, but something, uh, one of my alerts alerted. And so what I've got is basically we're up 20% for this uh, active trend trading. But what's interesting here is the NASDAQ is still in bear market territory. However, for the year to date, while Russell is from the total high still in bear territory, it is not so for the yearly. I think this, this is an important distinction to be aware of. And clearly, the S&P and the Dow are running up harder. One of the things that I had to shift in my own thoughts is looking more towards trading the S&P than trading the NASDAQ, simply because it's behaving better this year. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the, as we're looking at some stuff with a Neil. Um, we'll just keep it really simple this morning, folks, is basically we had a, this was on the 20th, which was last Friday. 
as you can see, we came back tested in the wick of the Friday. Momentum started to continue to shift. Here's one of the things I really like about the true strength indicator uh, index is basically you can define levels of support and resistance, and when they break out, that, mean, that means momentum has shifted and is now in the up direction. If we clear and get above the zero line there, it's, it, it is a good indication that this uptrend could have some legs. Now, are we approaching an area where we might get a pullback? Sure we are. However, we have a higher high, so and of course a lower low here, but the higher high constitutes the, at least the first part of a new established uptrend. As you can see, we're pushing on up towards the, we're at the 34, the 50 is right there. And so that could bounce there. Then I'd look for a pullback back into the 820 combo for a potential to go long. Momentum on the weekly charts, as you can see over here, <clears throat> excuse me, momentum on the weekly charts, as you can see here, has shifted up has shifted to the up direction and uh, on the market forecast and the TSI, as soon as we cross up and get above that you know, lower reversal zone line at negative 42, that also for the longer term provides us a good trajectory to the upside. And uh, it, it basically is now, am I gonna go in and try to jump in at all at the same time? No, I will plan my entries but it's looking pretty positive for the S&P. NASDAQ, not quite as healthy. However, we today's move, this is a gap and go, jumped above the 20-day moving average, broke out of the downtrend line. So these are all positive indications for even the NASDAQ that we, and we are also breaking out above this swing high here. So intraday, we at least have a higher high. Uh, and so again, first half of the equation for uh, being in a new uptrend. Looks very positive on the weekly chart. Looks like momentum's on the weekly chart also turning around. And on the uh, as soon as the uh, TSI broke above that, this level right there. And these are very easy to draw in here, guys is basically it's just, I go in here, I grab that high, grab that high, drag it across. And as soon as it breaks above that line and price action is doing the same thing, that gives us a really good indication that, hey, uh, let's go ahead and jump, uh, start looking for long trades. And that's exactly what we're, we'll be doing here in the coming week. Now recognize next week could be a very strong upside week. The week after though is when the Fed meets again. I think it's the week after. It's the 14th of June is um, yeah, 14th, 14th, 16th, and 15th of June is when the uh, uh, hey Jeff, glad to see you're there over on the YouTube channel. If you have any questions, just let me know. Glad to see you're there. Uh, and so anyway, again, look for price actions on the uh, Russell to continue to move up. Note here, just real quick, higher low, higher high. Officially, the Russell is in a new infant uptrend. And so I would look at potentially trading this to the upside, uh, trading either IWM options on IWM or TNA. So gentlemen, that's what I've got for the, the markets. It's, they're looking really, you know, really kind of positive. And what are your thoughts? Um, I largely agree with you. Uh, today, with the price action today, particularly in the IWM, uh, I've, I'm now leaning officially bullish. Uh, but and I'm ready now to start to take long positions, but I don't see many setups today. Right. Uh, so I'm just waiting for setups to occur, and I'll take them as they occur. Gotcha, Anil. Yeah, as I said earlier, this follow-through day looks very different. Uh, I got 
met the reversal in all the major indices. And I also keep up uh, year to date Delaware focus list stocks and lots and lots of them are giving me a triple screen buy signal. Yeah, so I'll excellent. Take a look, but looks uh, very promising yeah. right now. Anil, a comment on your about follow through day. Technically, uh -huh. it's, it will not likely be a follow through day today. The price increase is certainly good enough, but there's no volume behind today's move. So I doubt they'll they'll call a follow through day today. Yeah, they may, and, but I don't think so. Hey, Steve. I think. Go, go ahead. No, go, go ahead, Daniel. No, I'll have to look it up. I think they have already called it. I'm not sure. Yeah, they called it on oh. the Nasdaq yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so Steve and basically that was that was premature. It was also lower volume yesterday. Yeah. So you know. Yeah, there was a Not big consistent. discussion on Twitter about that too, uh, uh, about uh, uh, on um, some of the traders on Twitter were basically some big discussions on, you know, IBD calling the uh, uh, confirmed yeah. uptrend without the volume. It right. met the other criteria, but. Correct. Anyway, uh, just real quick, uh, let's see. A couple of quarter, really quick question. Barry asked, Neo, when is the uh, Delaware? Uh, focus uh, triple screen list. Uh, when is it updated? Uh, every weekend, I have the new Delaware focus list available. If yeah, I think it, you put that out on Sunday, I think, right? Yeah, every Sunday it's put up. I load it on the Delaware focus, uh, Delaware IBD meetup. Excellent. And then the uh, link, uh, let, let me know and I'll. Let you have the link, but you can go on the meetup and you can get the link. Excellent. Now, Steve, to, Steve basically says that the the uptrend will probably last about two weeks, and uh, and so yeah, that would be uh, optimal. Uh, can I have the link? Uh, and yeah, you know, Nicole, go to the Delaware IBD meetup. Just Google that, and you'll get the link to the uh, 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 join Anil's group there. Okay. Because I, I don't think he had, do you, Anil, do you have the link directly? No, I don't have the link here yeah. right now. Just Google, it's a Delaware IBD meetup. Yeah. So let's see here. So basically we've taken off. Uh, uh, Rocco says, I think they change their rules from time to time. So yeah, there was a couple of comments that were made uh, that were kind of interesting. And then David has been trading SQQ and TQQ, and so have we. Uh, so excellent. Okay, so that's what we've got for the indexes. And one of the things, the other thing I wanted to just share with you guys really quickly, I want to point something out. This is why I love trading the TSI. I'm going to put together a strong training uh, pro, uh, session for the TSI but look how well it has done. As soon as we break up there, that basically coincided with an early entry for I Russell. Then what happens? We come back, we pull back towards the, it never crossed back down to the downside when this stuff was going on here. And then we bounce up and off on that hammer day. And then it was off to the races and it's breaking out very nicely. Again, very strong indication. Once you get the, uh, the uh, TSI above the zero line, that typically can give us a green light to play trade pullbacks. Pullbacks to where? Back to the 820 combo. And if you don't get the pullback, you don't trade it. So, hey, here's the stocks we have looking at for today. And um, let's go ahead and let's, uh, Steve, I'm gonna let you, uh, Kick us off here and okay. A Z P N. Now you're not ready to buy this right now. Well, if if earlier in the day I would have bought it, but um, I, I I wasn't following it that closely. I okay. think if you're aggressive, if you really believe we put a temporary bottom in, I think it's viable today. It's likely to move away on Monday. Okay. But I like I like the setup. It's in clearly in an uptrend with a series of higher highs, higher lows. Uh, we are above the short-term moving averages. We've had a, a very short pullback the last four days. 
And I, I think if you're aggressive buyable today, if you're not, wait for uh, a purchase price of around uh, just above the 830 moving average, but at the lower range of that, that sideways movement that you've shown. Okay. Yeah, that really nice consolidation. That's a nice little, sometimes these horizontal flags like that can be a predictor of really strong moves to the upside. So, so I like that one, Steve. Yeah. And let's see. And in my mind, it's about the only one available on the IBD 50 list that's potentially oh. viable today. Okay. Yeah. Anil. Oops. Let me write this down. Anthem. No, it's actually Anthem. Yeah, it's Anthem, yes. <clears throat> okay. There you go. Wow. Anthem has a accumulation in the base right now. So... Can buy it right here, right now. Uh, probably okay. until three o'clock. Uh, I usually buy around three. So about three o'clock. Yeah. yeah, this did a very nice breakout there. Look at that breakout there. Or you could even pull up. It broke out earlier. This when did this when did this pop onto your list? It popped on my list actually yesterday. Yesterday, right here. So excellent. So yeah. Uh, it is breaking out and moving up. So, uh, yeah, it looks great, uh, Anthem. Does this have um, options with it? I don't know. Okay. Pretty sure it does, yeah. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, you know, excellent buying. And, and look where the price action is finishing, right up towards the you know upside of the uh, daily range. That is a very, you know, that's an excellent opportunity. Uh, there's here's one of Steve Bigelow's favorite um, favorite candlestick pattern is we calls that he calls that a doji sandwich where you get a big up move then a doji and then if it opens up he goes you can expect to get a move of equal uh, distance the next day or the combination of the next two days of that move right there so as you can see pretty strong move of about eight dollars up to the upside so. Here is my choice. Zim. Now, Zim is a, uh, um, I think Zim is on the IBD 50 list, or it was. It's been it on, yeah, on a lot of their individual stocks. A little bit of a surprise that it opened and gapped down today and then basically came down and just bounced, just square dab off of the, uh, the eight and or the correction, the 20 and the 50 and the 34 day moving average. Um, I would basically look at that if you wanted to, you could basically take a position in this now with a stop loss just slightly below today's low. And, and I would probably, re, you know, basically say I would want to keep my stop loss to, you know, 5% or less. And so with that being the case, what I would do is look for a retest back into the day, you know, a little ways into today's, uh, uh, today's um, um, lower wick here. Or if I break out above this, then I would use the lower portion of the body right there, about 66.79 for my stop loss. And so that's my stock for today, guys. Looks good. I like it. Yes. yes. Good. And I see it on my triple screen. It already had triple screen signal uh, at least a week ago. And yeah. When it, and so, yeah. And uh, we basically, I did, you know, in full disclosure, I put this out to our uh, uh, autopilot trading uh, service members, premium members, uh, and basically we were going to try to buy it on a bounce and we did a re-connection uh, and sent out a revised flight plan for it to try to pick it up at about the 66.90 level. And so we did pick it up today at 66.90 and we're starting to move up. And again, the stop loss is just slightly below those levels right there. Uh, also, Oh, thank you, G. There you go. Uh, and Phil brought at, bought at 66.70. And so look for, a, like I said, look for a move on up. This is looking very, you know, really nice up to the upside. So that's what we have for the stocks. 
gentlemen, uh, let's go over and just take a look at a couple of other items. Here is one. You know, we took care of the whiteboard. So um, six pillars of consistently profitable trading investing system. Uh, this is something I've been working on for quite some time because I've always been a proponent that that if you trade a strip. Let that alert go off. All those buys coming in, huh? <laughs> What's that? Are those all buys coming in? No, they're alerts on something. I don't know what they are. Um, I, I put in my alerts. Let me see what let me see what clicked off here. And what that was is actually SOXO, SOXL going on up to above uh, $24.97, almost $20. That was another very profitable trade we've had this past week. Yeah, the Calvary, yeah, Osram, you're absolutely right. The Calvary is leading us out of bear territory. And so, yeah, we're bouncing up on that. That one is, uh, yeah, very pleased with that particular trade. We got into it about 1876, which was a very good year. Uh, and uh, it just passed the 33% profit mark in a three-day period. So that's one of the other thing, reasons why I love trading the uh, leveraged ETFs. And so back to what I was talking about, pillars. Oftentimes people make the mistake, they think they can trade a system, a correction, a, a strategy, but they don't have a system backing it up. They have no foundation. So a good solid system consists of these things. One, it identifies those top stocks and ETFs that you can trade. And as a very basically tight criteria, and then you're very selective. It increases your probability of success dramatically too. Pillar two, identify objective entry criteria, when and where to enter. Objective number three, or pillar three, identify objective exit criteria, when and where to exit for both profits and also to protect capital. Class uh, number four, Identify what strategy you're going to use. You're going to use an option strategy. You're going to use a stock slash ETF strategy. You identify that, and it's built on the system. Five, uh, provide back-tested expectation. Whenever you invest a dollar, you should have an expectation of how much you, your system should be paying you on that particular, you know, uh, uh, for that investment. So what to expect for every dollar invested. And last but not least, hey, find yourself a mentor. And a mentor can be somebody who's alive or somebody who's dead. And you're thinking that's a little bit gross, but some, a lot of people have adopted like Mark Douglas as their mentor as, or as one of their mentors. And they read his book, um, uh, uh, Trading in the Zone, and it helps him become a better uh, uh, trader. Psycholo psychologically. Bill O'Neill is another great mentor. Um, you know, Anil is a great mentor, Steve, myself. So lastly, you know, the system must come before the strategy or you're going to lose money that you don't need to lose. So that's what I've got for today, guys. That basically closes out. Remember what Tom Sobna... Very good. Uh, <laughs> anyway, hey, just want to introduce you to Mike, the, you know, the autopilot trading set team. It's myself and Brandon. We do a lot of the work there. And I'll just leave that up there just briefly. Uh, he's a great contributor and, and is actually helping me write, uh, write the book that we're currently in the process of writing. I hope to have that out by the July timeframe or at least the initial drafts. And it's how to basically trade your way to wealth in less than two hours per week. There's my lovely bride. Ah, that was a couple of years ago. <laughs> and there's Brandon. Just, just a few. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, <laughs> Brandon and uh, uh, I, our daughter-in-law, Sharon, and our two grandkids there in Boise, Idaho. So uh, Stephen and Neil, thank you so much for a good session. Uh, everybody, thank you so much for joining. Please do me a favor if you are joining uh, either on the YouTube channel is we want to tell your friends about us and, uh, and so that they can come and experience and get some good, solid, I won't call it advice, but it's good, solid guidance on what we're doing. So, Nicole, thank you. And thank everybody else. Steve and Anil, thanks for a 
fantastic day. And uh, as we like to Our say, pleasure. aloha, trade well and prosper. And uh, again, thank you, mahalo, and thank God you. bless. Right now. And Neil, thank you.